This is gonna backfire, man. You can't be in the wall. It just looks weird. It looks like the wall has nipples that create things. Actually, that's not that weird. I wish I could have that in my house. No, I don't. That would ruin breasts for me. What is going on, everybody? Riot here, back with another episode of Subnautica Survival. Here I am, continuing right outside of Glowdick. Um, this is like the first time I put the camera on the left side of the screen with Subnautica. I started doing it because it was covering up all this important stuff in Ark, but let me know what you guys think about it, because I think I might just be one of those guys who switches it around, you know? You think you know me, you got me all down, and then boom, it's in the bottom right corner. So I'm thinking today, since last time we had such a huge setback, we lost everything. Everything just went to crap. But in the last few episodes, we've lost all our pits, our, our pits, our fish, our fish, our pet fish is what I'm trying to, Jesus Christ, I can't even talk. We've lost our ability to speak. We've lost, um, Ass Reaper, who, by the way, Ass Reaper 2 has been born. There's this little ass dinghy po point pointing through the floor. I, I hope my ability to speak comes back. I mean, I hope I didn't just suffer like a brain aneurysm right before starting this video, and this is something you guys have to get used to. I don't think it is, though. So today, I have the, the, the Avengeance bug in me. I just want vengeance. Sweet vengeance on all these bastards. And I don't really know how we're gonna go about getting that since we have pure harmless tools. So, it's gonna be another kind. You can either get revenge on people by ruining their life or by being very successful on your own. So it's gonna be that kind of revenge. <laughs> I'm thinking we need a massive base add-on today. Something just super damn fancy. I already have that on me. I was confused why I had left this bad boy. I want, I want a Seamoth garage, dude. A Seamoth garage would just be the fanciest. What the hell is this? You're supposed to deploy. Oh my god. Do I have to deploy you like this now? Oh, that's silliness. Before I could just drop you out of my inventory. Just want to make sure I'm not forgetting any- Damn you to hell! Make sure I'm not forgetting anything real quick before climb up. There we go. So I'm just gonna go explore a little bit on our unnamed future 2B Ass Reaper 2 and gather some shiz because now it's time to really move forward in this game. We took one massive step back, so now we have to take like two massive steps forward because there's just so many, so many things on the way to this game. My, um, my buddy Awesome Crunch, a fellow Subnautica YouTuber, was informing me that there's just this crazy storyline unraveling behind Subnautica and it basically equals out to like some some hidden society or some just low-key group. I don't want to put any finalizations on anything in case anything changes, but They're basically keeping the sea emperor. Did I just go exploring without any inventory space? Damn it I always start these out as a noob. I have to re-remember But it basically just it's starting to state that there's just there's just the secret group of people or creatures Unknown so far that are keeping the the sea emperor locked in some underground lava ridden cage it's just gonna be insane. I had no idea anything like that was remotely in planning. People keep saying these are gonna be able to be used soon, man. If we could use these, you know how much, how handy that would come. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> that would change everything. Why we don't have this loaded with lockers either, I do not know. There, we're just gonna gather some stuff, and this is where I'm gonna store it all so I don't even have to deal. Man, we could load all this and then we could put some. Damn, I wish these walls were a little higher. Maybe if I built these lower? Like, if I built it right there... No, we wouldn't have room. But that would just be sick if we could double stack these. I'm even gonna put one of these right here, just for the hell of it. A fabricator? Oh, perfect, perfect little place for a fabricator. Why I don't have one here already, I do not know. Sweet! Oh my god. Dehydration. So it starts already, huh, Subnautica? You're our- Oh, I have a water bottle on me, yes! Past Johnny, you are the shit! Someone was also commenting telling me this, so I'm really sorry because I just I just read it real quick and then like kind of just just moved on to reply. Someone actually told me something too, and this I'm sorry, buddy, I forgot I don't have your name down, so I don't um I'm not able to quote you. I do try and quote people as much as possible though by their name at least, so they get credited for dropping information, but this like occasionally I slip up. I'm I'm not perfect. But someone was, if you even think of bringing that attitude over here, bitch, I will manhandle you like no one's, oh, 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 like this game just lagged out on me. But anyways, they were saying that there might be, um, Reaper Leviathan, like, random attacks in the future where they just randomly go to your base and, like, you just kind of, they just kind of lay siege for a minute. You got to deal with it while it rips your, <laughs> while it rips your base apart. But if that is a thing that just gets implemented in the future, I'm not too worried. Our base is so freaking secure. 
Like, really, that's, like, we really, I didn't think it was that genius of a move at first, but no, we're completely fine. We're built into the side of a cave. Like, nothing is ever gonna, or the side of a mountain, inside a cave. Nothing's gonna mess with us. Who wants some? Who wants some? That's right, I didn't even, I cut him before he could bite me. That's what you get for roaring before you bite, genius. I'm trying to figure out if sharks would be more scary or less scary if they let off a big thunderous roar before they nibble down, because, like... That would be terrifying, a giant shark roar, I'd shit my pants for sure, but would I, um, would I be more scared if it's just like the random comeuppance where it just randomly grabs you and pulls you down? That's no way we can use you. Man, if I had my base near here, I would totally get a thermal generator going or thermal whatever those are. I don't want to check what it's called right now because I'll get my ass cooked swimming out of a giant vent. But one of these, one of, one of da 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 da. You guys know what I'm talking about. One of these right here. Thermal plant. Wow, it's so close. That would be... If we could get one of those geysers near base, that'd be perfect. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Where you at, homeboy? Bring it. Oh, I don't want to cut you, you beautiful creature. We'll slice your ass open, though. Yeah, that's right. Oh, man. I'm sorry I had to do that, buddy. <laughs> oh, damn it. You scared the hell out of me. Why? Why you gotta be so cheap? You really want to go. You really want to go. Yeah, that's right, Nancy, swim away. Now, one thing we really need to work on too is getting our power all adjusted back at base. I'm thinking I might just make a separate little, fix that lag, Subnautica. I might just make a separate little wing specifically for the, uh, I just like to call them hydration stations because they drain the power so fast and it kills all our fish and it's heartbreaking. I guess we're still not 110% sure if all the fish are dying because, um, Really? Both of you want to go? You crazy sons of bitches. Do you realize what I'm about to unleash on you? Come back at me. I'll chase you down for all of eternity, sucker. I'm getting way too... See, I started out with a nice mentality. I was trying to be peaceful. But they were relentless. And now one of them had to die. I hope they're happy. Two of them. Two of them had to die. That's right. Oh, God. He's stuck in limbo between life and death. Put him out of his misery. Alright, one final smackdown. There we go. Now he's... I think he's dead. Gotta catch up with the poor critter. Put him down. He's not going down, he's stuck in a life twitch. Stop wiggling! This Seamoth is already breaking on us. I need to be more like... I need to care for them more. But the thing is, these kind of repairs are always easy to make. Like, little damages here and there, you got controls. I literally would have been fine if my Seamoth never got poisoned. Like, this doesn't even make any Welcome sense. Aboard, How does this Seamoth get poisoned? Like, what's its mechanical? I was joking around that it had to have injected me with, like, malware or something, but what kind of lethal amounts of malware would explode your vehicle in a minute? Welcome aboard, Captain. The whole thing is just very loopy, man. Very freaking weird that it happened. It was very heartbreaking. <laughs> I, was, I was pretty damn destroyed by that, to be honest. Oh, oh shit, I was trying to figure out what that was. It did not look like anything at first. Oh my god, I had an instant heart attack right there. I was like, what is that shiny little damn streak? Give me crash powder. That's what you get, douchebag. It looked like just a really shiny little mineral for a second. I was a fool. Why am I swimming to a creature's sphincter? Oh, I'm not. Man, do I love gathering resources in this biome. It's, it's just got such friendly local inhabitants. Everyone wants to shake your hands. Or eat you? Alright, Sand Shark. I don't have any of my defenses, man. Don't have any of my torpedoes. None of my nothing. Wait, hang on. Hang on. I got out of here for a reason. What was it? Oh my god, okay. Everything looks like a freaking deposit. There we go. This is what I'm looking for. It's such a pain right now. I don't even need silver. I'm looking for other things. Funny enough, I'm looking for copper mostly right now, but I need generally everything, so I'm just going on a mass gathering spree. I'm surrounded by biters and um, sand sharks right now, and nobody's messing with me. This is beautiful. All those little damn cucumber plants popping out of the ground and spitting shit at me. Can't wait till we can do something about these guys. You can't even pile terraform material over them now. Everything just goes through it. What the hell is that? Is that just like salt? It is just salt. It just looks cooler now. Damn it, that was confusing for a second. Oh my god, these are mesmerizing. Give me them. Hey-oh. Hey-oh. I feel like we're in danger. I feel like we're being hunted. 
Where's that reef back, dude? You can hear him from so far. There he is. I hear you, buddy. I hear you. Can't wait to find one of your kids. The same way this chick tells you when you're dehydrated or hungry or whatever, demineralized, however she puts it, it should tell you if there's like an insanely large creature up ahead, like, detector, heads up, detected, warning, there's a creature approximately so-and-so meters approaching fast in front of you. Like, that kind of shit would save lives, woman. This is pretty much what I'm doing right now. For everyone wondering why I'm just swimming around, I'm just trying to gather as much copper, titanium, quartz, everything generally I need. I need just everything right now because my next vision of our little add-on to base is so productive that we could get set back just as much as we were last episode and still recover perfectly, like not even get set back in the slightest. That's my goal. I dream of a world where one seamoth destruction doesn't just set me back like a mofo. Alright, how are we looking on the supplies? This is pretty much just my next creation supplies right here. Going, put this all back in there. Give me you, for I need to make some batteries. That's exactly why we have you. Why are you in the wall? What the hell are you doing in the wall? This is gonna backfire, man. You can't be in the wall. It just looks weird. It looks like the wall has nipples that create things. Actually, that's not that weird. I wish I could have that in my house. No, I don't. That would ruin breasts for me. Alright, so we just need some rubber and, um, yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, crap. Dehydration, man. I wish I was back at my stations. I have so much water back at base, I'm just not there. Such a downside. We'll have to return later. There's just gonna be so much water, I can't wait. Until then, we're gonna have to barely survive the, uh, the caveman way with 3D printed water bottles. <laughs> Sweet, we're about to have some badass stuff going on, everybody. I've just been gathering like a madman, and it's finally about to all pay off. Get some lubricants up in here. That should be the, that's the wrong, I'm highlighting the wrong part of the entire, damn it, those seed clusters take up so much inventory space. Crap, I made the wrong thing anyways. I was supposed to be making silicone lubricant, not lubricant, you damn fool. All right, cool, we have just about, we have, I'm just going for four, so we have enough right there. We've seen four power cells, four titanium ingots, that's what these are for right here. It's all coming together, man. You're not gonna be able to take stuff from me anymore, Subnautica. Not after today, bitch. Oh my god, every time I go, okay, there we go. It's like, it's disappearing more and more into the damn wall. This malarkey. Getting rickrolled over here. Sweet, we've seen four of these, and then... We actually do need four of the silicones anyway, so that wasn't too much, or four of the lubricants, I mean. So it wasn't too much of a setback, if if at all, really. So we're, we're doing good, man. We just have so much shit together. <laughs> I don't even park my Seamoth in Glow Dick anymore. I just kind of, I just use him. This freaking guy, always hungry or thirsty, I swear. Worst survivor in the world. Where'd you go, fish? Or bitch? Yeah! See, it's just survival so easy these days. Dude, the fabricator is completely gone now. It's just, it, I would never even know it's there. It's actually perfect. Just blends in perfectly. All right, we still need a couple more batteries. We got that taken care of. Now we just need to get our lubricants out of the way. We only need three more. I don't think we're gonna, yep, had a feeling. Had a feeling we're gonna get it right here. Oh, we will. We'll only need one more now. Dude, we're getting far. We're actually gathering so much shit right now. It's crazy. Now we just gotta turn. Wait, no, no, no. Wrong decision. We gotta get some power cells going. Woohoo! We're moving far. We can make another battery, which can make us another power cell. So we're just gonna need one more power cell. We need one more lubricants. And then I think we're just about good. Maybe a little bit more titanium, but that's like the easiest thing to gather in the world. Oh yeah, look at this collection now. Three power cells, baby. Sweet, give me one of you, get our last batteries going, that's all good. We're gonna need these titanium ingots for a few things, actually. We're just gonna, like, create it and then destroy it and then recreate it. It'll be super shisty, no one will ever see it coming. So, fancy. Fancy town. Get you one more battery, sweet. Just give me the silicone rubber, then we have our last freaking power cell that we need made. It's all, guys, this is all being so much easier to create than I thought it would. I'm so happy right now. <laughs> All right, just gotta make us an advanced wiring kit. Just need or kit. Just need some quartz, some um, table coral sample, and of course, a silver. But I happened to grab one of those earlier, so light. Well, I grabbed two, so life is good. All right, electronics. Make a computer chip. Then we just need this and a gold to make a advanced wiring kit. So where is my gold? Perfect. It's all coming together so nicely. Crap! I need two gold. I'm an idiot. There. No. 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 Get out of there. Blood oil. God, I should hide that blood oil. I don't just want it exposed like that. It's disgusting. 
Sweet! We're gonna need this for something else down the line. Just you trust me. Severe dehydration detected. Oh, would you look at that? We're about to die. Well, isn't that just glorious? Shit, I don't have water on the backup. Hang on, do we have any air? Oh, crap. We might need... Welcome aboard, Captain. We might be screwed. I need to set up a buttload of mini bases everywhere for sure. And just have a bunch of hydration stations and fish tanks set. Can you not lag while I'm doing serious business? And just so anytime I'm in the neighborhood and about to die, I can pop right in there and grab everything. That would be glorious. Last but not least, we just need a buttload of glass. Not enable glass. Whoa, you crazy bastard. Just normal, normal glass. And we have plenty of cords for that, so everything's chilling. Not in this cabinet. In this one. And we got a bunch upstairs, so everything is just pretty much kosher, man. It all came together so perfectly. All right, now we have just about everything we need for this little adventure. I'll take you and you. Just our bare necessities, our actual, like, crafted supplies in there. Get everything over into here, and we're just about ready to head back to base, man, finally. Do not want to forget you, though. That would suck at Oh, I don't want to forget you either. Come here, little buddy. You're coming with us. I wish we could just tie this freaking thing to glow dick and make it so much easier. Alright, we're finally about to be back to base. I could already hear the cave crawlers. Like, I could faintly hear their little... Or whatever they actually sound like. <laughs> I was incorrect, I know. I'm about to dehydrate, but it's fine, because we're gonna make it, man. We're gonna make it! Look at our entire base. You can just see through the walls. It's so glitchy. What is that? I can see everything through the... <laughs> what the hell? Oh, I'm slowing down. I'm about to die. All right, got just about everything we needed. We've got to get back to the water, man. Thank God we're finally back here. I can't believe this is the first time we're back at base this entire video. But I felt shame after what happened last time. I had to come back with a redemption round, man. It was, that was just embarrassing. Weasel on in. Oh my God, so much lag. I know we still have dead fish everywhere, guys. It's just become a graveyard. I don't even know what to do about it. Just got to remove the fish. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Two water bottles right there, baby. Boom! Full hydration as soon as I walk in the joint. That's how I like it. Just go ahead and empty all these out so they can keep filling up. Oh my god. I kind of had to go I kinda of had to go to the bathroom before walking in here. And now I just have to go terribly. Stop filling up all the thing when I walk in. Just got one more to get. Oh Jesus. We don't must empty out. Oh, we're full? Alright, fine. That's that's plenty. See how hydrated we are now, guys? That's I know we may have lost all our, all our fish because of this. Like, all our fish died and it was, it was really upsetting, but at least now we have so much hydration, you know? I'm starting to get a little delirious now. It's now almost 100 degrees outside my room. Those months are back. For those of you who've been with me long enough to remember last time, I was sweating my ass off forever. So where in here looks like a baller-ass Seamoth garage? Or should I just keep them all over here? So I was gonna have an actual garage for the Seamoths, but I mean we already have our own little mini base. This little emptied out area right here would just be perfect. I don't want to make the Seamoths in here though because that just sounds like a certain disaster. It sounds like it's gonna end terribly. So we're just gonna head back on over there, make a few and drive them on in. I'd like to see some Nautica take shit away from me, man. Check it out, man. Check it out. Let it go. There you go. It's going to go face it the other way or it's gonna just suck, dude. Face it the other way. Okay. There we go, now with it facing this. Damn it to hell, I'm just an idiot. Okay, I'm just facing it the wrong way repeatedly. Now. Nope. There we go. Now, yo, look at that building I have half destroyed. God, that's horrendous. I really gotta quit. Are you just destined to face this way no matter what? Get to a safe distance, damn you. God, that's scary down there, little bone shark grave. Happy I have it marked so I can forever find it. Alright, hopefully you just don't make it that far away and disaster doesn't strike. Alright, incoming Seamoth number two! Shine a light on this bad boy. That's gonna fall right on Glow Dick, dude. Oh, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be bad. No! Oh, Jesus, just missed it. Thank God. That was beautiful. Alright. Seamoth number, I guess, number three. I guess, I, I don't know why it's our third Seamoth. <laughs> Get on up there, buddy! Hell yeah! Woohoo! Pop on top of each other like a factory! Just stacking them, dude! Am I facing the other way now? Oh my god, I thought I had enough glass. 
I don't have all the glass on me I need. Whatever, we have three of them now. Let's get at least one more in here. They'll all have different names and different purposes. And and they won't be able to take anything from us. Some will be able to, um, to just carry more stuff. Some will be more equipped for battle. Some will be more equipped for defense. Some will be more equipped for just um, staying energized, I suppose, since they run out pretty fast. All in all, we got the whole posse going on here now, though, dude. Everything is getting back to how it should be. World domination. Son of a bitch! I only made one glass! For anyone I'm wondering what I made the rest of this stuff for, because I have, like, I, I, well, I guess now it's all pretty much for that. But it has, everything had different purposes to begin with. Um, ooh, or should I just, should I just go a little overboard? I was going to make a moon pool and then just delete it and make a couple until it cleared out a giant box worth of area. Hence the, um, the advanced wiring kit, but we already have such a nice garage in there. I'm kind of realizing right now how big of a dork I am that I don't even have a power glide yet, but I have my own Seamoth army. Doesn't even make any damn sense. Oh, I was gonna keep stacking them. No way. Alright, fine. I guess we'll have to build them separately. But damn, dude, Subnautica took so much from me that I- There we go, now we have five. Five Seamoths are enough for me, man. They're all gonna have separate Welcome purposes, names, Captain. colors. It's just- It's a beautiful system we have going on here now. I'd like to see them take stuff away from me. Now we just have to start- Oh my god, this is why they all have to be in the same area. Because that amount of blinking is just insane. You know what, let's get you out of here too. Get- get- get out of there. There, now we have less blinking. We don't see as many signals. Still a whole lot of shit we're supposed to keep our eyes on, though. I kind of just spam my screen. Well, luckily, all these will be in the same place, though. All right, we finally have the entire pack together, dude. That was kind of a pain in the ass, swinging five of them in here. <laughs> There's so many. All right, now, one of them is about to become Ass Reaper 2 because, of course, we got to redeem the last thing that died. We got we to gotta bring them back. And one of them is going to be Glojiz because that is the most, that was the second highest rated, highest rated name in the comment section. So me and Ass Reaper will be the offensive one. Mostly armed with tor torpedoes and like electric currents, fields, whatever. And then um, Glojiz will be, I guess, the adventuring one since it's going to mostly be maintained on the bottom of Glodick. So it comes out, it's a whole perfect naming scheme that you people came up with. I have nothing to do with, I swear to God. <laughs> and, um... And the third one I know of right now is just from my buddy Awesome Crunch, that fellow Subnautica YouTuber. He was saying I should make one called Elbow Deep, which is which is pretty disgusting. But it's basically Elbow Deep because we're also digging through our storage. It's going to be the one that mainly just collects resources. So we have those three picked out already. The other two I don't even know what to do with yet, what to name them. I'm not even sure what color schemes to put on Glow Jizz or Elbow Deep, but I know, um, I know what to put on Ass Reaver. We any communications? Really? All that adventuring and no communications? Are you kidding me? Ass Reaper 2! Oh my god, it feels so good to finally see you back and alive, buddy. Doing well. Obviously, I don't have all the resources on me right now to put everything I need to on them, which is very depressing. <gasps> but we can put a perimeter defense system up, which already could save our lives. Hell yeah, dude. And then, of course, we just need torpedoes. Torpedoes is very important. There we go, we already got our defenses started on Ass Reaper 2. These fish corps are just going to keep bobbing forever. And the cavalry is ready to go into battle at any given time. There we go, no, no matter what we go through in Subnautica, we will not get set back like the last time. Alright, I just saved the game, everything's secure. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, guys. If you had a good time, make sure to smack that like button, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time where we will dominate this planet. Peace!